<laughs> All right, as Michigan is experiencing a significant increase in COVID cases, many people are concerned that the number of deaths will also climb in the coming weeks. But Dr. Frank McGeorge here with some new research that suggests the numbers may not go as high as they did this spring. Frank? People who have been watching the numbers have probably noticed that the case fatality rate, that's the number of people who die compared to the number of people diagnosed with COVID, has actually fallen since the beginning of the pandemic. Now, some have suggested that could, at least in part, be explained by more testing and diagnosis in younger, healthier people. But two new papers, one published in Critical Care Medicine and the other published in the Journal of Hospital Medicine, suggest there is more to it. The first study looked at over 21,000 hospital admissions in England. They found death rates were highest in late March when it was 41% for COVID patients in the ICU, compared to a much lower 21% for similar patients during June. Now, the second study looked at over 5,000 patients admitted with COVID-19 to a New York hospital system. They found that between March and August, hospitalized patients were in fact younger and did in fact have fewer additional medical problems. But when they adjusted for age and other medical problems, the death rates still dropped by 18% on average. So at the end, both of these papers really suggest that improved treatment protocols, newer therapies, and lower hospital volumes, which allow for better care, are all working to lower the death rate. Notably, though, the authors of both papers pointed out that although they found a decrease in the death rate over time, it is still unacceptably high. And if hospital systems become overtaxed again, they could certainly increase. Back to you. All right, Doc.